started taking Kung Fu, I was getting better at it. And I started to get, um, uh, I started to spar and I was beating people. And so, you know, people my own size, I wasn't, you know, I was still getting killed by the big guys. Um, but we would spar with full headgear and full, um, you know, pads and, and uh, 16 ounce full boxing gloves. Right. And um, so uh, we would get in a circle and then the Sifu, this was a guy that was, I mean, he barely spoke a word of English. He was like a, a seventh generation Shaolin monk or something. He was, he was amazing, but he, he barely spoke any English. Um, and he would just say, you and you fight. And so um, one day I show up at the school and I'm going through my routines and stuff. And it was a sparring night. And this little girl shows up, this little Chinese girl shows up that I'd never seen before. And I'm like, well, who, I wonder why she's here. I wonder if she's taking Kung Fu because not too many girls take Kung Fu. You know, you see a lot of girls at Jiu Jitsu, thankfully, it's really great for women's self-defense. But back then you didn't, you didn't see girls in a, in a, in a, in a fight school, you know? And uh, so this little girl comes in and um, uh, I'm the first one to fight. And the, the, uh, the, the guy who ran the school, Sifu, um said you and you sorry real quick when you say little girl do you mean in size or a child in size okay. she was clearly not okay not a child she was probably she was probably five foot tall maybe five one like really small and i had a thing still have this thing where i just i will not ever strike a woman and so in, in when i was taking kung fu i would spar with women i just wouldn't throw punches because i just can't hit a woman so um uh, so he said, okay, you and you fight and we square up and I'm kind of like, all right, I guess I'll, you know, I guess I'll take it. And, uh, I'll just, just plan to dance around her the whole time and just stay away from her. Um, as I usually did when there was the rare woman in class, but, um, she, uh, we squared off. He said, go. And next thing I knew I was laying on the ground, staring up at the ceiling, mm. not able to catch my breath. So this girl was a black belt from another school that he had brought in to fight me. And so she had kicked me three times in the ribs before I even knew what happened. And I was just laying on the ground, holding my ribs, staring up at the ceiling and just, <clears throat> you know, like that. And I see the, the Sifu's face come over me and he goes, no more cocky. <laughs> <laughs> That's some karate That's kid awesome. shit right there. That's tight. Yeah, it is karate kid shit, but it was, you know, I thought, oh God, I've been, I've been kind of an asshole. I've been thinking that I was cool. And then, you know, you get, you start, you know, hitting people and they fall down and you start feeling like, man, I could really kick some ass now, you know? And, um, and that's not acceptable in martial arts. And, and I didn't know that at the time, you know, I was just, I was new. Um, but still it was, it was a very humbling lesson. It's like, you know, I never look at, anybody small the same way ever again.